Breaking news. Article cripples Tinibu's plot to hide under privacy law in certificate forgery suit. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. My country people, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has told President Bola Tinibu that he cannot hide under the privacy law of the United States to stop the release of his academic records from the Chicago State University. According to news reporters, article stated this in his reply to um, Tinibu's objection to the order of Magistrate Judge Geoffrey Gilbert maintaining that Tinibu's complaint was incompetent and lacking in merit. The PDP bannerman revealed that all the grounds of objection raised by Tinibu against the execution of the lawful order by the magistrate court were resolved by Justice Gilbert after listening to the parties. On September 19th, the court held that Atiko's application for discovery outweighed Tinibu's plea for protection under privacy law. Tinibu had, amongst other grounds, for denying Atiko's records, submitted that George Gilbert had in directing the Chicago State University to release documents bordering on Tinibu's diploma certificate, transcript and admission letter, amongst others. It was even gathered that the judge gave credence to the argument of article which has to do with Tinibu's certificate for the 2023 presidential election. President Tinibu, who was not satisfied with the ruling, then appealed to the courts to delay the enforcement of the order until Monday, September 25th, 2023, when he would formally file his objection. And in his argument, Tinibu's legal representative argued before the court that the ruling for re releasing his client's re academic records violate his right to privacy, as speculated in the statutory provisions of the United States Constitution. And Tinibu's attorney cited the Federal Educational Records and Privacy Act 26 USC as part of his defense against the court's ruling. Meanwhile, Atiku argued that Tinibu's plea for privacy had no relevance in the current context of the ongoing case. And then Atiku further argued that uh, Tinibu could not plea protection when he has placed its educational records at issue. Now, Explaining that in the intervener put his diploma at issue by submitting it to the INEC, and Tinibu's records have already have already been introduced into the Nigerian proceedings, including by Tinibu himself, and widely published in the media. Then, Atiku Abubaka is you know really really uh, serious on this issue. Now, Atiku has made it known that. Uh, Tinibu cannot use privacy law to stop the release of his academic records. He cannot hide under the privacy law and say, oh, because of this privacy law, to stop the release of his academic records from the Chicago State University. Tinibu cannot use that as an excuse to stop the release. And uh, the court had already, you know, declared that uh, Atiku would be given possession of this Tinibu's record, but Tinibu now quickly went to plea, you know, against the court's ruling. Tinibu quickly went to plea for protection under the privacy law. And Tinibu had, amongst other grounds, for the denial of Hatiko's request submitted that the magistrate judge, Geoffrey uh, Gilbert, had in directing the Chicago State University to release documents. Uh, bordering on his diploma certificate, his transcript, admission letter, amongst others. But George Gilbert pointed out that the case of Atiku has merits. 
It has merit and it has to do with Tinubu's qualification for the 2023 presidential election, which Tinubu won. So dissatisfied, Tinubu last Thursday begged the Federal High Court, you know, presided by Judge Nancy Maldonado, to delay the enforcement of the order until Monday, where he would formally file his objection. And speaking on Tinubu's objection, Atiku insisted that all the grounds of objection raised by him against the execution of the lawful order of the magistrate court were resolved by Justice Gilbert after listening to the parties. And at the Monday proceedings, Tinibu had, amongst others, argued that the granting of the order violates his right to privacy and breached the U.S. law regarding the release of his academic records. But Atiku, in his latest move, insisted that the law of privacy pleaded by Tinibu to stop the release of his academic records was not relevant. It was not relevant in this instance. It wasn't. So Tinibu is just trying to cut corners. He's just trying to cut corners by making sure he delays this process. Making sure he delays this process. But you see, the all progressive Congress are so confident. The APC supporters, they are so confident that Atiku Abubakar would never get his hands on, you know, Tinibu's record. Some of them are even bragging and boasting that it's not possible for Atiku to win this case. Atiku cannot win this case. I see if they've seen the end of this case already. So, my country people, he just gets at this matter be. And you see, Atiku on his own, he's not ready to back out. Atiku is not ready. Atiku Abubakar is, is giving Tinibu a hot chase on his quest to expose most of his top secrets. He's giving Tinibu a hot chase. Ever since Tinibu's inauguration, Tinibu never fit to drink water, drop cup for this matter. Ever since his inauguration, he has been facing questionable allegations over his academic identity. Even his personal identity self is also questionable. So, as it be like this, so currently, Tinibu is being held by the ribs with Atiku's strong allegations against him. Now, so Atiku holds Tinibu like this for shit. Say, you go nowhere. You go nowhere. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue, guys? One day, one day, we know that the truth would be exposed. The truth concerning Tinibu's record, though, all of them would surely be exposed. I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section.